Right, so we'll look at this uh, problem which is you have a deterministic signal buried in colored noise and you want to pass it through a filter uh, and uh, the assumption is that at assigned some time instant we are going to make the decision so <clears throat> so of course if this noise has been white noise we have gone through this the answer is the match to filter match to this signal but here it is colored noise that means the noise is of course i'm assuming white sense noise is white sense stationary with some autocorrelation function r and n tau and uh, some power spectrum s n and omega okay it has some shape so under some uh, uh, conditions this can be written as the uh, square magnitude of a filter and we call that filter to be the, uh, the sp a spectral factor. I'm going to call it here G of S. Okay. So this is of course G of S multiplied by G of minus S is equal to G omega. So, <clears throat> uh, so in the rational case it is quite easy. You can do it by the pole zero allocation. And since this filter needs to be, we are going to use the filter, we want it to be stable. Uh, sometimes, of course, uh, the, the inverse of the filter also is crucial, so we would like the inverse to be stable. In fact, such a factorization is possible, that's called the minimum phase factor, both poles and zeros uh, in the left half plane. <clears throat> so it's possible to, bottom line is, uh, uh, it's possible to uh, factorize the, uh, the place the poles and zeros is that you have equal number on the to start with you have equal number on both the planes including the j omega axis with uh, even multiplicity so you can order reorder so that all the poles and zeros on the low left half plane you associate it with g of s then one, <coughs> one over g of s of course has this property that if you pass the noise n of t through this, you will get white noise. So this is called the whitening filter. And the proof is very simple because the power spectral density is the system transfer function squared multiplied by the input power spectral density. Since the power spectral density here is 1 over this uh, gs squared and gs squared is equal to sn and omega, uh, you can see the output power spectral density is so if you call this unity, this is S N N omega multiplied by 1 over G omega, the system transfer function squared. But this <coughs> is G omega itself, so you can see this will turn out to be 1. So generally the idea is uh, if you have, suppose now you, uh, you pass, uh, instead of passing the noise, of course you pass the whole data through this. So you're going to pass R of T, which is ST plus NT through this, uh, such that this with this property, then what is going to come out is, you will get some new signal G of T, or let's say F of T, uh, plus this new noise, white noise with uh, this property. <clears throat> uh, so of course, FT is going to be, uh, whatever is this filter, let me call its inverse transform to be, let's say A of T, so that's A of t convolved with uh, S of t. So from here the answer is, you go, so if it is a signal is in white noise, so a filter which is matched to F is the optimum filter. So this is the uh, matched filter for white noise case, which will be, so <coughs> here the advantage is, whatever is the overall output to signal here, an output to signal to noise ratio is maximized by uh, this filter which is the complex conjugate of f star and uh, so the concatenation of this whitening filter followed by back filter is the best receiver which maximizes the <coughs> output snr <coughs> excuse me at uh, t equal to t naught and of course, if the noise is white, you don't have to go through this. Just the match filter is the ordinary match filter, which is matched to the whatever is the deterministic signal is the optimum. Uh, so 
This is one way to do, but the bottom line is if you combine, so the mantra here is whitening followed by match filtering is the optimum perceiver.